Hi, Stampers. Happy Stampin' Sunday. How's everybody doing today? I love uh, coming online and showing you some stamping on Sundays. It's a great day to do it, except for I always think about Monday. But what are you going to do? So drop in, say hi. I'm going to put my glasses on here. And I hope you all had a great weekend. I actually got out of the stamp room for a few hours today. Did a little shopping. Went and had breakfast with my cousin, and we did a little shopping. I did get a one or two little Christmas presents. I didn't, hi, Bunny. Hi, Vicky. Um, didn't just buy stuff for me. I slowly picking up uh, things for Christmas. Hi, Fran. So drop in, say hi. Tell me where you're from. If uh, you're new, let me know. You know, first time watching me, and also share my videos. So, real quick, just want to remind everybody that um, the 25th, uh, which is Tuesday, ends my special of getting a $10 off. That's my bonus day, my bonus dollars. $10 off on any order over $10. Must be USA only. Can't do that for, um, you know, out of the United States. Sorry. And everybody that puts in an order in September gets the chance to have their name put in for a drawing to get a free uh, limited time bundle, uh, which was available last last month, the blended seasons with the framelits and the pencils. So that's my thank you for everybody trying to get me to Greece. It's getting close, I know, but whether I earned it on the first day or I earn it on the last day, the main thing is I need to earn it. So it doesn't matter what day I earn it. So again, if you put in an order with me this month, um, you're going to get a chance to win this. Okay. Or, and I will be drawing that name live on October 1st and also sharing my news, whether I did or did not make the cruise. Um, but I just keep saying, even if I don't make the cruise, I have been blessed to meet so many new friends since I've been doing the Facebook lives and thank you for dropping in. Thank you for sharing them. So tonight what I decided to work on was on page 27, the winter woods. And I think everybody can see that. This is kind of a neat set. Um, woodland sets are really nice because, you know, you think of Christmas with the pine tree and stuff like that. But, you know, they're winter birthdays and, and uh, just winter scenes that are nice for anything. Okay, so uh, don't just think about that for Christmas. Uh, a couple of things about that. This stamp set, it goes uh, really well with Lovely as a Tree in our annual catalog. And it also goes really well with, in our annual catalog, and I think it's called Woodland. Let me just grab it because I did mark it so I would give, it, give you the right name. Uh, yeah, it's Woodland also. So this is Winter Wood Set. And this also goes great with this uh, embossing folder, the Woodland embossing folder. So let me just bring this up for a minute. And you can see the embossing folder. And then look at this right here, the trees. So it goes really nice together. And I'm going to kind of show you that tonight. So, and then we have the framelits that go to it. And I'll show you those when I flip the camera down because they're, they're all in pieces here. So let me flip the camera down and show you the... Um, the cards that I came up with and do a little stamping. Okay, so hold on. Hold on to your hats, folks. Let me move the camera without making you dizzy. Hi, Pat. Okay, so hopefully, I think this is a little crooked, but whoop. Okay, sorry about that. Let me just move this. I hate moving anything because I'm afraid I'm going to lose you. Okay, so I think we're good there. Uh, remember, I'm Rose Ward from stampersdelight.com. If, if you go to stampersdelight.com, you can get anywhere. You can get my phone number. You can get to my online store, which is stampersdelightstampinup.net. Just remember stampersdelight.com. And that'll get you to wherever you need to be to get a hold of me. Kind of little, little rhyme. Also, don't forget I'm also on YouTube under Stampers Delight, all one word. Okay, so let's just move this out of the way. So again, let me bring in the stamp set. So this is the Winter Woods. And again, it goes great with this embossing folder, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And then here's the framelits. 
framelits are really cool because, which I didn't even get to play around with um, all of them yet. This one is especially cool because what it does is it gives you this little effect, which is a snowbank. Okay, and you're going to be seeing that. So this is the snowbank one. Now this one, okay, is really neat because if you use the stamp, this stamp, we have this framelit, of course, that cuts that out. And then we have a couple of, um, like, uh, bare trees, you know, trees that have no uh, leaves on them. And then, of course, we've got the pine cone in this little um, piece of pine tree, which they give you three of those. So that's kind of cool. You can stamp three of them and cut three out at the same time. Same thing with the pine cones. This one, though, there's no stamp to it, but you see those little grooves right here? What that does is, obviously, you would... Uh, run it through your big shot. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show it to you. So you put your, your card stock down and you run it through your big shot. And then these little indentations here do this. So this is the same thing. I ran it through the big shot with our uh, glitter paper. And then look around the back. See these little pieces here? So you just flick those up a little bit, bend them just a little bit. I'm going to actually be using this on one of the cards I'm going to be showing. So you just kind of push those forward, and it gives it a 3D effect. Okay? So, and you can do it with the cardstock, the glimmer paper. I did it. This is the first one I'm doing in red. I haven't tried this one yet, this color. But So you just play around with those. And you can also add, and which you'll see, some of our shimmer paint uh, paste, embossing paste, to make it look like snow. So again, it's a whole set. It's really great. I mean, I had a lot of fun playing with it. I could have done more if I had more time. But let's show you what I did come up with, and I'm going to be doing some stamping. So first, let me show you some of the stamp samples that I did. Okay, so this is one of them, which I will be stamping in a little while. So this one has the tree just the bare trees here in the background and there's vellum paper. So I stamped it on white and then I put vellum paper over it. And this is, see the background, this is where I cut two pieces of cardstock to make them look like snow banks. And then I put the embossing paste on it to look like snow. All right, and then I just, and I did this in, uh, this is crumb cake with um, cherry cobbler. And the trees are done in the Sahara sand in the, the background. Okay, and then I just put some um, pearls on there and I colored them with my cherry cobbler blends. If you use our regular markers, it won't work because they'll just wipe off. The blends stick to that though. And I don't think I did anything on the inside of this one yet. No. Okay, but I will. So that's the first card I came up with. Uh, let's see what we got here next. Okay, here's one of my favorites. This one is, a, let me just see what this um, embossing folder is, because this embossing folder also goes really well with this stamp set. And I have it opened right here. Just have to find the name of this one. I want to say falling softly, but I can't. Yeah, softly falling. Close enough, or very close. And you can see that it looks like little snow. Now this one is again on our foiled uh, cards and envelopes, the package that you can get. Okay, and what you do is you just cut another piece of white cardstock, run it through the uh, softly falling embossing powder. Do this, um, the framelit that I just showed you in gold, and I added, I flicked them up a little bit, see? And then I added the embossing paste on the very tips of those little pieces. Let it dry and it looks like snow. And then of course I used our um, very vanilla with the gold trim, metallic trim um, ribbon. And, and then, uh, well, one thing I wanted to tell you, I embossed the thinking of you this season. So I did the heat embossing on the gold first, then ran that through the uh, em with the embossing folder. You wanna, if you wanna stamp, or, you know, you're saying you want to do that before you put it through the embossing, the embossing folder through the big shot. So it doesn't get all bumpies. 
It'll have bumpies when you're done, but it'll look right. <laughs> okay, so that's another one I came up with. Then I did it in white with Knight of Navy on the silver foil envelopes or cards with the matching envelopes. Now this one, and this is, again, why they coordinate so well together. Again, this is the white with the uh, silver metallic ribbon. I did the tree in white, and I think I used the shimmery paper on this one. Yeah, I did. And then I added the snow on there. And then this is from the other Christmas set, which I, uh, Mary, here it is, Merry Thinlets. Merry Christmas Thinlets, which has Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Holidays. And I did that, if you can see it, in our dazzling diamond or, or sparkling uh, glitter paper. Yeah, Maureen, I, I, I really like the uh, navy and white, too. And you can hardly see it, but also I use the softly falling uh, embossing folder on the navy blue. Night of navy. Okay, so that's another one. This one, this one again, I stamped um, shaded spruce in the background, and I stamped it. I stamped, I inked it up once and then I stamped it like three or four times. So I got, if you look under here, which you really can't see it, the trees are all different colors. So you don't have to ink it up every time. See how this one's darker Then we got some lighter ones. These two are dark and then the lighter ones underneath. And then of course I stamped it again on a piece of cardstock and used this framelit to cut it out. Now this one I used that piece again for the snow bank, but I didn't put any snow on it. And the season's greeting is actually from the Cambridge Carol set because I like the saying, season's greetings, but I also like the inside saying on that. So I switched it up a little bit. And again, that's what I love about these sets. They intermingle so well. And then again, look in your annual catalog, not just the holiday catalog. These little um, adhesive sequins are in the annual catalog. And they're iridescent, and they go so well with this. And then inside, and the vellum, which the vellum makes it, yeah, it gives it a soft, Maureen was saying, when you put the vellum over what you've stamped, it gives it a real soft look. And then for the inside of this card, I stamped it with, again, the saying from Cambridge Carols. And then this is the little stamp right here. I inked it up once dark and then I, I stamp three times and you get that effect inside. Okay, so that was my other sample. And then my, I have another one to show you too, but let's, I'll show you this one first. Okay, so this one I did all in trees and this is the um, double Z fold. And of course I brought in the little reindeer from one of the other holiday Christmas sets. And trees and reindeers. And of course the designer series paper. And see these are stamped and cut out and these have that little, the other uh, framelit. And you could put some snow on there if you wanted to. Too. So again, there's a nice Z fold card with that. And then the last one I'm gonna show you, and we will do a little bit with this. Let me move these over here. I'll bring those back in and show you again. Is this little guy, isn't he cute? So again, I stamped the tree in green, and then, or yes, yeah, shaded spruce, but then I stamped it twice, so I got a lighter and a darker. And then what I did was I used this, the um, snowman, and I always wanna call him Stitch Snowman from the one that we had before. And if you look, I used that embossing folder right here. And what I did was I put some um, shimmer paint in the folder first. And then I ran it through the Big Shot. And I'll do that with you. And it gives it a shimmery effect, but can you see the trees? It actually gives it like a, I don't want to say it, it looks not so stark white. It almost gives it like a little... Uh, White birch, that's what I, I think of when I see this, white birch trees. And I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna show you that in a minute. 
And then again, on the inside, I did the same thing with the um, balmy blue. Um, just put some uh, pine pine leaves on there. Oh, thanks, Win Ann. Win Ann says she likes them all. So that's one, another cute one. So let me just come in here, move this out of the way, and let's do a little stamping. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to bring in is, let me just get this so I can see how I did this one. Grab this guy. Okay. All right, so I'm remember this one, and I'm just going to, I'm going to change this one up a little bit. So I'm getting the crumb cake. I've got crumb cake. This was cherry cobbler, but now I'm using the Mary Merlot, and I like that for the hot, for the um, holidays too. All right. So the first thing I would do is bring my this piece in. I'm gonna just show you. Uh, let's see. Do I have one that I didn't cut out yet? Because this one's already cut. I just want to show you how it cuts, and it doesn't matter what size you use. So we'll use this size. I'm gonna bring this in here. And get my plate, which is getting kind of warped. <laughs> but for me, I use it. I don't let my girls use it when they come in. But And you would just lay this down. And he does get a little bowed, so very gently just make sure he goes back. Bring this out. Slide that up. I don't really care if it moves because, let's face it, snow banks are snow banks. Okay, they're, they're going to be, uh, they're not perfect. Just like snowflakes. And I'm just going to wheel that through. I know, it jiggles and it shakes the camera. Okay. Let me just pull that out for a minute. And move this over because I am going to be using this again. Again, I always have my precision plate on one of them, so that's the one I grab. And you see it gives that effect right there. I'm going to grab my paper snips. And if you need a bigger or a longer piece than that, just kind of cut it off this is the piece that would be your snow bank this piece you could actually also use and I'll show you how you could do that by using it behind this now you got that little see what I mean now you got two snow banks so this what I would do is I would round that off and then I would just Use that as snow banks. Okay. So, of course, I already did that ahead of time. Let me bring those in. So, I have two pieces here, which I'm going to have to trim. But I had these drying. And now you see them with the, the um, shimmery embossing paste on it. Okay. So, I'm going to put that there for a second. So, what I'm going to do is I'm first going to bring in my very vanilla. And I'm going to bring in... I had one here already. Well, that's in case I make a mistake. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to grab the background trees. And one second here. Where did I put this? Give me one second. Don't you hate when that happens? You got something right in front of you. Oh, I moved it too far over. No wonder why. Okay. So this piece... Oh, and look at these trees, too. I didn't get a chance to do anything with those yet, but I'm sure I will. So this piece right here is the one that makes those backgrounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Stamparatus. Now, remember, the Stamparatus has a pad for you to use, but that's with your poly photopolymer. This is the clear rubber. I don't need that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this right up here. Put that right there. And I'm going to line this one up right in the corner here. Press it down. And I'm going to use, again, the Sahara Sand. Because I don't want it real dark back there. I just want... Now, this is an old pad, so I can, I can twist and turn with this one. And I'm sorry that if that's jiggling the camera. Okay. And just see, so this is the kind of effect I want, okay? I don't want anything too uh, dark. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this back out and move it over one notch, if everybody can see what, see that, okay? If I just move it over one notch, it's put 
puts it right where I want it, right there. Press that down. And that didn't get too, needs a little, but actually I probably don't have to ink it up because remember I'm gonna put the vellum over it, but just to show you that you can go right back in the same spot. So now I got some more and I want at least one more, probably two more. So again, again, remember I told you the Sahara sand is one of the ones I didn't use a lot in the beginning and now it's like my go-to color. Okay. And then I still have a little bit here, so I'm gonna just move that magnet down and I'm gonna do the same thing and do it one more time. I'm probably only gonna get two of those. It's not gonna, doesn't have room for three, but, and I should have had a piece of uh, grid paper under there so it didn't get all messy, but it's all right. It's a light color. See, it got a little messy there, but I'll just wipe it off. Now I'm gonna take this off. And matter of fact, my chamois is right here. Get that off there right now. So that's the Stamparatus using that. Now I have my background. And I've already cut out my vellum that's going to lay over that. So here you go. This is what it would look like. And you could still use that and put the snow just like that. Looks fine. But I just like how the vellum kind of softens it. Maureen said it perfect. Now because you're not going to see this down here. I'm just going to grab my snail. Everything's all thrown up over here. Thrown around. I'm just going to snail that down first. Line that up right there. And then for the pieces up here, because you don't want this flapping around, what I would do is grab my um, glue dots, which are also somewhere on this table in one of my bins, here it is. So I'm gonna take some glue dots. Now remember, they come like this. Those just happen to be the ones left over from my the My Paper Pumpkin Kits. So let's just do this. I'm just gonna take a couple of these, and let's see if I can, yeah, okay. And I'm just gonna place one here. You really don't see them when you put them on, on the trees that, at all. And put one on each top there to keep that vellum down. Make sure I'm still in camera view. So you can't even tell. All right. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in my crumb cake. Remember, I always press right in the middle. And then hopefully my bone folder's still on the table. I just had, I just set up for my holiday tag class today. So I got everything over here. I'm go ahead and do that. Okay, so I got that piece. This one's gonna go right on here on the Mary Merlot. I could have trimmed that a little bit better, but for now we'll just leave it. Okay, so see the difference in the card colors just something a little bit different I kind of like the Mary Merlot that's my again crumb cake and Mary Merlot are my, like my go-to colors all right so let's get the pieces of snow out so there's a piece and there's a piece of snow or you could do it the other way you could do it that way but I think I'm going to do mine this way So what I do is I, I've tried to cut the snow, the pieces of, for the snow exactly for as my card front is. And for some reason, I always, I always have to trim it. So now I just leave it whole like that and cut the rest off. Does that make sense? To me, it's just, it's too hard to try to cut exactly what I'm doing here. I'd rather try to trim it off when I'm done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put that right up there. I don't care if that's going to stick because I'm going to cut it off. This one's going to go right here. I don't have to snail it all the way over because I'm not using the whole thing. You want to lay that right down there. And there's my snow. I had read somewhere once uh, somebody was asking about the using the uh, white, our Whisper White with our Very Vanilla. And you wouldn't use the two colors together. Well, this is exactly when you would. 
that'll throw out. Because you, I want the background, I don't want it as stark white. All right, so now we have that. So what I'm gonna do first, because it takes a little while for it to dry, is I'm gonna stamp my saying. Did I put my Mary Merlot away? I probably did. Let me grab it. That's what happens when I clean up. No, I didn't put it back there, so where's my Mary Merlot? I could do it in green, but I don't want green. She's hiding here somewhere. Oh, oh there it is, <laughs> under my glue dots. <laughs> It's amazing how you can't find anything when you're looking for it. I'm just going to stamp that up. Stamp that right up here. And that's going to take a few minutes to dry. I actually would tell you stamp that first, let it dry, then do the rest of it. But do as I mention or say, not as I do. Now I'm going to take in... The red tree. Oh, yeah. And that would have looked pretty, too, with some white snow on it. Hmm. I might have to do it afterwards because it's not going to have time to dry. For this, I suggest you use the mini glue dots because you don't have a lot of space in between these things. So I use the minis. I mean, you can use the larger, uh, I meant dimensionals, but then you see them through, that, through the opening. So... I'm going to just kind of put a couple of these all over. That should do it. Maybe I can get one on the top without it showing. I think so. Yeah, this would have looked good with snow on it. Maybe I'll do it when we're all done. And you'll see the, the, the one uh, tomorrow on the still shots because it's not going to dry in time. Maybe I will put a little on it. What the heck? Okay. I'm just going to flip those up a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to put the red tree on here. Ooh, pretty. I'm just going to press those up a little bit. Oh, you know what? Instead of snow, I could put rhinestones on there. Yeah. Okay. And bring back in my Mary Merlot. And smell that down. Layer that right on top here. I'm just looking at it crooked. Let me just lift that back up. Glad I didn't press it all the way down. Okay. That's why I use my grid paper. Helps me line things up better. Okay. Then here's my crumb cake. This should be dry. Very gently check it. I don't want it to smear. I'm going to be very gentle snailing that because I don't want it to smear yet. <laughs> well, I don't want it to smear at all. There we go. It was pretty good. I'm going to lay that right on there. So, again, here's the one I did before. Here's this one. But it, I think the tree needs a little something here. So, after I'm done with the inside, maybe. So, for the inside, I'm going to take that. It says, thinking of you. There's not another saying in here. So, that's where I'm going to use the one from the Cambridge, Cambridge Carols. I like this saying with loving wishes for everything that makes the season beautiful and bright. Let's just grab that. Okay. And again, bring in my Mary Merlot. Let's damp that. And this is what I was talking about. I'm just gonna ink it up once, stamp it once, twice, three times. Three times the lady. Maybe this one I'll just do opposite. There you go. So that's for the inside. And then just go ahead and snap that in there. 
But I'm looking at the trees and I'm just thinking it does need something. So did I put away my, I think I put it away. So let me just grab it because it's right here. I'm adding snow. I love, 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 love our shimmery embossing paste. I love to put snow on things. However, not looking forward to snow. So let me just go in here and do this. I'm just gonna grab a little bit. Oop, I think I need to buy more. And just add some little, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And you can do it after you make your card. It's, I mean, those little, those little pieces are sticking up. So you just don't want to put too much on your pa palette knife. Okay. Maybe throw, grab that and just flick that up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay, this one. He's kind of stuck down and I want him up a little bit. So I'll use my new pick tool. Take your pick tool, lift him up a little bit. There we go. And add a little more snow here. A little bit maybe right there on the top. That's where I would want a little bit more, right there. Okay. This I'm going to clean off real quick. I don't have water down here, but I do have my wipes. Let me grab the wipe and wipe that off because you know the paste dries on here. You don't want it drying on your, your things. Okay. So, yeah, what do you think? I think the uh, snow made it. So, again, this is the same card basically. Oh, I smeared him a little bit. Might have to put a little snow on him too. Same card, just a little different. So let's let that dry, because he did smear. Actually, you can't even see it. We're gonna put some little snow on there to fix that. So that's, let him dry while we bring in this one. Okay, so for this one, um, what I did is, let me just get, close that up. Let me grab my paper and you can you can do it one of two ways, okay? Uh, you can put your paint, let me move him, I gotta switch the, the plates here. All right, so everything's, everything's on top. <laughs> oh wow, everything's on top of everything. I'm losing everything tonight. Okay. Well, here he is. He's underneath everything, of course. I start out so organized here. Stampers. Okay, so here's the piece I want. Move that out of the way. Move you out of the way. And what I'm going to do is take the front of this, and I'm going to take my champagne shimmer. I just want to make sure I use the right dauber, because I have daubers now for these. So... <laughs> Sorry, Stacy. Stacy says, oh, beautiful. Another set she's going to have to buy. So what I did was I just put some shimmer paint on my um, embossing folder. And I just kind of went all the way around with it. Dab it. It doesn't matter whether you do the whole thing. You, get, you don't have to get all of it because that's what gives it the, what I call, white birch effect. Okay, you got a lot there. You're just dabbing. Dab it. It does not bother this. This is plastic. Okay. It, and you just want to make sure you clean it before it dries up or dries off. Okay. And I swirl it. Get it all in there. And it, if you do it like I'm doing it by dabbing it, you see some, some parts are darker than others. And that's what you want. You want that really cool effect. Okay, that should be enough of this that I'm doing because I'm not using the whole six by six piece. And put my dauber over there. This also gets you very messy. You get lots of shimmer on you. I don't mind shimmer. 
Let me just grab this again so I don't mess my fingers up too bad. And then I have a piece of white already cut. It should be the right size. I might have to cut him down. I think I do have to cut him down. But for now, we'll just use that. And I'm going to lay that right in here. And close that. Bring back my big shot. Now for this one, of course, we're using the regular platform and two acrylic pads because it's um, thin, a thinner one. I'm trying to do this one-handed while I hold that, that down. Okay, so let me bring my big shot through. My two plates. And let me run this through before it dries anymore. Okay. And out she comes. You're gonna hear a big loud boom in a minute because I know something's gonna fall off this table. <laughs> okay, let's move you out of the way. So I'm gonna bring this up and peel this off and you'll see it. See how it gets into the grooves and it doesn't have to be perfect because you want, that's the effect that you want. You don't, you want some white, some champagne. I am gonna take my chamois and just wipe this because I don't want it to get too um, dry. And yes, the chamois, the glitter does come off the chamois, too. I actually got some spray. I'm just going to spray it. My Stampin' Scrub spray and leave it over here until I get to clean it. Okay, so put that over there for a minute. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... I'm going to have to cut that down. I'm going to grab another piece of white. I'm going to take my shaded spruce, let that just dry for a couple of minutes. This was probably the piece I'm going to do. One, two. I don't know if I'm going to use both. See, I got a little edge there because I was pressing too hard, but I don't care. I'm going to cut it out. Just going to move that out of the way. And again, switch plates. Bring in my big shot. I do have three big shots, but I don't have room for them all on the table. <laughs> it would be easier if I did, wouldn't it? Okay, so I'm just going to lay that down and cut these both out. Again, I've got to switch. i got to get another acrylic plate here because this one's really bowed, but... I, I use them until they crack and they're no good anymore. I know it pops up, but... So there's one. I'm going to pop that one out. There's one tree. And I don't know if I'm going to use both trees on this card that I'm doing, but I like to have the option. And if I'm cutting out one, it takes two seconds to cut out a second one. And if I don't use it now, I'll be using it later. So. All right. There's my second one. Pull that out. Now I know I'm done with him, so I'm going to throw him on the floor. Make myself some room. Pop that one out. Okay. There you go. So now I got two trees. I got this, which needs to be trimmed. Let me bring that in. My paper trimmer. Here's my blue cardstock that I'm using. And I've got ink all over my hand, so let's get that out of the way first. I got ink, I got shimmer. Okay. I really got a lot of green ink on me here. <laughs> That's okay. That means I'm working. Okay, so this I'm gonna I'm gonna trim because I already know it's too too long for that. So we'll trim it to right about here. I usually do 
uh, you know, your card base and then layering, um, start at like four by five and a quarter and take it from there and just trim the edges a little bit each time. So now I have the two trees that I can do this. And then I have a little, but see this, this card, I have the little snowman behind him. This one, he's kind of skating and I think two trees might be too much. So I think I might do one tree and have the little snow guy right there. That looks cute. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna use the blends on this. And when I say real quick, I mean real quick. I can color very fast. So I'm just gonna color my, and I'm not even using light and dark on this. I'm doing the whole thing in the light smoky slate for his skates and his buttons. And his nose, I'm not even blending. I'm just using them as regular markers. And for his little twiggy arms, and this is the crumb cake. I usually use that for the, the arms because they're very small pieces. So, I mean, how much highlighting do you need to do? Now this one, we're going to do it this way. We're going to take the little dark and I'm going to do some dark here and then I'm going to take the granny apple green this is soften that up a little bit I could I would add more color if I had more time well I do I have all night I live here but <laughs> And then his scarf to, to bring in the blues. I'm going to do the blue on the scarf. And I could, again, I could make all different colors, stripes on his scarf, but I'm just going to make it all blue. Okay, and that's going to tie in the background to this. Okay, he's cute. And then, of course, I always like to add my Wink Estella. It's on the table somewhere, so as soon as I find it, <laughs> I'll put... Oh, there it is, right with my markers. I like to add the Wink Estella to the snowman because it makes it look like real snow. You can never have enough of Wink Estella. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and snail this down. could have used the same little snowman but I wanted to do something different I just have to see if I like the light tree or the dark tree you know what I might use both trees oh I kind of like that what I can do is move one up one down but he's so stinking cute I hate to I hate not to have him showing more I think I like the lighter tree. Yep. Okay. And then what I would do is, or what I'm gonna do is grab my dimensionals and I have my small ones right here. So rather than to try finding my larger ones, I'll just go with the small ones, they'll work. I'm just gonna throw some of those on the back. So this, the um, winter woods trees and everything, they go, they go with just about everything because you can add trees to anything. What I was thinking, and I should have, if I had time, I would have done it. I would have gotten the country, country home suite, the country one with the car. Oh yeah. Well, I might have to do that and show it to you Friday and have that car with the tree in it would be perfect with this. What do you think? I think I'm going to have to try that and show you Friday morning if I have time to do it this week because I do have a class but I think that set would be really cute I'm just gonna set him right I think I'm just gonna put him a little bit behind there and a little bit in front like he's kind of checking out the tree 
Come on. I'm just going to get them right in there. And then I would put the little saying on top. Just like this. Look how cute he is. And if I have a piece already cut, I will do the saying. Let's see. Do I? Oh, I got one. Close enough. So let's clean this one off. Make sure it's cleaned off well. Yep. And grab, where's my balmy blue? That should be on the table here somewhere. And I probably moved that around. Well, it's all right, it's right here. Let's grab that. Yep, I cleaned up and I put that back too. This is why I don't clean my stamp room. Just gonna stamp, stamp it down here. Grab my paper trimmer real quick. And grab some dimensionals again. Oh, there, look at that. There's the big dimensionals. They were right next to me. And I got two different cards with the same idea. <coughs> Excuse me. So again, the trees, the um, winter wood trees are great, but think a little bit um, of using your other stamp sets with it because they go, so, and I got another tree. They go so, so nice with it. And then of course these bare little guys, I didn't even get to use those. But again, some different ideas on how to use the stamp set especially with the background. I, white birch, that's all I can think of every time I see these. So let me bring in the other ones again and show you. Then we have these two. Okay, one of my favorites. All the trees and the deer. Okay. And you can use both trees there. That's what I like. You can use the stamped one or you can use the one with the framelit. And then, of course, we had this one. I love that muted look. And then, of course, everybody loves silver in Night and Navy. And then the gold. So those are, that's what I came up with. Let me just flip the camera up so I can see everybody again. And hopefully it doesn't flip me around like it did earlier when I was playing with the camera. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed the cards. Um, I think Friday I'm going to continue on with this set because this is the set Cambridge Carols that I used the sayings tonight. And I haven't played with this set other than using the sayings. So I think... Friday, uh, you'll be seeing what I come up with this set. Oh, thank you, Pat. Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, everybody. But anyway, um, so I hope you enjoyed the cards. Don't forget, I'll be back Friday morning at 7 a.m. And if you're not up that early or you're already gone or you're on a different time zone, check back on Facebook and um, see what I come up with then. And also, don't forget... Whatever you see on Facebook, I also put on YouTube, so you can always catch them on YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed it. I loved stamping for everybody. Have a great Sunday evening. Have a great week, stampers. Happy stamping. Bye.